Overnight, the first signs of potential progress in the urgent effort to free U.S. soldier Travis King from North Korean custody. After days of silence, the United Nations command says North Korea is now engaging in talks about King, who, according to the Pentagon, willfully ran across the heavily armed border between South and North Korea without authorization. The conversation uh, has commenced with the KPA through the mechanisms of the armistice agreement. Lieutenant General Andrew Harrison declining to provide any details surrounding the talks due to concerns about harming the sensitive discussions. Primary concern for us is Private King's welfare. But a State Department spokesperson saying... It is my understanding that there have been no new communications since last week. The 23-year-old had just been released from 47 days in a South Korean detention facility for assault and was supposed to return to the U.S. to face additional punishment. U.S. efforts to reach North Korean authorities to secure his release have been ignored. Congressman Michael McCall, chair of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, telling ABC News that he's concerned that North Korea would demand concessions from the U.S. before releasing King. We see this with uh, Russia, China, Iran. When they take an American, particularly a soldier, captive, uh, they, they exact a price for that, and, and that's what I worry about. Meantime, tensions remain high between the U.S. and North Korea as the U.S. military shows support for South Korea. A U.S. nuclear-powered submarine arriving in South Korea today. It comes days after the U.S.'s Kentucky, a nuclear-capable ballistic submarine, docked in the Korean Peninsula for the first time in 40 years. Hours after the U.S. nuclear-powered submarine arrived, Japan's Ministry of Defense and North Korea launched a possible ballistic missile. Now, as for King, U.S. officials still do not know where he is being held or his condition, but the U.N. Deputy Command says he remains optimistic about the talks. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.